you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Do I have everybody's attention now? What is going on, everybody? I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I am deep, deep, deep in the Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I am currently doing my second playthrough, which is an all self playthrough, and I'm going to beat it a third time as my lethal destroy everything and kill everybody playthrough. Solid rest style. But let's get into today's video. Sony sees PlayStation 4 Pro competing against PC and not Xbox. How Sony is now perceiving the PlayStation 4's direct competitor as PC rather than Microsoft's Xbox Project Scorpio and the Xbox One. And to that I say, of course. I mean, Nintendo is no competition for anybody. And the Xbox brand is a niche brand. It is a niche brand with a small number of gamers playing on a small number of systems that in no way, shape, or form can compete with Sony or the PlayStation 4. Period. So why would you be competing with somebody that is irrelevant to you, that in no way, shape, form, or comparison can compete with you, whether it's numbers, games, hardware, you name it, Sony PlayStation 4 is dominating Microsoft and their Xbox brand. So what is there left to compete with? Somebody that's actually ahead of you, somebody that's actually doing better than you, where PC gamers are, and for anybody that's been saying that PC gaming is irrelevant, that nobody plays on PC gaming, that nobody cares about PC gaming, well... I hate to break it to you, but you were talking about Xbox all along, not PC gaming. Because PC gaming is where the most gamers are at. PC gaming is where the most features are at. PC gaming is where the largest user base of gamers in Steam, 125 plus million people, are gaming at. By comparison, Microsoft and the Xbox One is nothing but a small, tiny, niche segment of gamers. So, Andrew House was influenced by some data that suggested that there's a dip mid-console life cycle where the players who want the very best graphical experience will start to migrate to PC. And he's 100% right. You see it every generation here on YouTube. People start getting tired of consoles. People start getting tired of the low performance. People start getting tired of the low resolution. People start getting tired of consoles and the welfareization of gaming. So then they grow up they become enlightened, they build a PC, and then they never go back. Now, according to some doctors, PC gamers will always migrate back to consoles when a new console launches, but as we can all see, looking around YouTube, who are the biggest gamers here on YouTube? PC gamers. You look at Weapon Wheel, what is Weapon Wheel most comprised of? People that primarily game on a PC. So Andrew House goes on saying that, we wanted to keep these people within our ecosystem by giving them the very best and a very highest performance quality console, blah, 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 blah. Now, I understand what he's saying, but is the execution going to be there? Because, well, you know, the PlayStation 4 Pro by console standards is a very powerful and a very capable machine, but is it going to get somebody who wants to get to that next level stay on the PlayStation brand? Is it going to get somebody who wants to go to that very, very next level in gaming? Is it going to want to make them stay with the PlayStation brand on the PlayStation 4? It could be, it could not be. Bottom line is the PlayStation 4 is slim and the PlayStation 4 Pro, they're probably both going to be flying off shelves because it's Sony. Nobody in the console gaming sphere can compete with Sony. The only one who can compete with Sony is Sony. Look at PlayStation 1, domination. Look at PlayStation 2, domination. Look at PlayStation 3. If not for Sony literally blowing their own legs off, Microsoft and the Xbox 360 would not have stood a chance. And even with blowing half their bodies off, and even with Microsoft coming out a year early, and even with all the advantages that the Xbox 360 had, the PlayStation 3 still beat it in the end. Now a lot of you people can be saying, oh, you're a Sony fanboy. Hey, guess what? I don't own one next generation console. So before you accuse me of being on any particular side of your fictional little kid console war, I don't have a next gen console. So I can look at this situation and speak on it 100% objectively when I say that Microsoft is in fact no competition for Sony and the PlayStation 4. 